A group of protesters claim the Department of Health and Human Services is illegally kidnapping their children and using them as cash for federal funding. Color Rates' Nicholas Berger had a chance to visit the protest and talk with some of the protesters about their reasoning behind the accusations. The corruption of CPS. It is absolutely horrible. People at today's protest were protesting against Child Protective Services, all speaking out with one message in mind. As Montana citizens and United States citizens, we are here today to redress our grievances with the Montana state government, who has allowed CPS, a nonprofit organization, to freely infringe upon our civil rights and liberties daily. Many of the people I spoke with tell me CPS was not only wronging them, but more importantly, their children. If your kids are in it for a minute or years, the damage is already done. When you get that kid back, you need to take them to counseling. And you need counseling yourself to how to deal with the new child that you got back because you're not going to get the child back. It may look like the one you gave them, but it's not going to be the same kid. Some protesters have even gone as far as to say CPS taking their children is a crime in itself. They're illegally removing children with no court orders, no evidence. They are kidnapping children on a daily basis to meet their quotas for their federal funding. But just like anything else, there are always two sides to every story. Now, I did reach out to DPHHS, and while they wouldn't go on camera, they did send us this statement. Saying this claim is false. We make every effort to keep children safe within their home. CFSD provides in-home safety services to prevent placement of children into foster care, out-of-home safety services, and reunification services that include working with the parents to identify those services needed to reunite the parents and child safely. They went on to also say that reunification is their primary goal, making every effort to keep children safe within their home. However, a child's safety must be our top priority. To this end, CFSD provides in-home services to preserve, strengthen, and stabilize families. But despite the values of child protective services, some in the community feel the system is flawed. This is what the movement is about. We want parents to know their rights and know how to exercise their rights. You can't do this. It's got to stop. You got to tear down the whole system and redo it. Reporting in Great Falls, I'm Nicholas Berger, Montana Right Now.